I am going to solve a few questions today, um, hopefully at least two. The first question I am intended to solve uh, is the sixth question from the uh, sample question uh, sample questions sheet I posted on uh, eClass website. So uh, the firm is producing uh, a caviar and its price is either $30 or $20. Uh, so both of those events, if the weather is good versus the weather is bad, and those events, both of those events are equally likely. And so one half is the probability that this is going to be the price. <coughs> Sorry. And this is the total cost function of this producer, uh, which is a function of quantity. So there's a fixed cost, there's a variable cost of this uh, functional form. And so the question asks a bunch of things, but I am actually going to look at only the first two parts because I think these are the most important parts of this question. The rest is pretty simple and straightforward once you're able to answer the first two parts. So the first part is asking, but by the way, this is very much like what we learned last week, the uh, uncertainty. So here, the first part is asking what quantity Q is going to maximize the expected value of the profit for this firm. And then the second part is actually asking kind of the same thing, the expected utility, but this time, all right? And, and the, uh, the firm is assumed to be so here, the first part, the firm is assumed to be a risk neutral. So you can basically assume utility is nothing but equal to the profit. All right. Uh, so this is a von Neumann Morgenstern utility. Um, and however, here, let's suppose that the owner of this firm is a risk averse guy. And so therefore the utility is the square root of pi. And so here, what, what is pi? Well, pi is the realized payoff, final payoff realized final, uh, I'm sorry, profit. Um, okay, and then there's C, D, E, I guess, uh, or C and D, but again, I'm, I'm going to skip those two parts. Well, how do we answer this? Well, what is the expected uh, profit, expected value of the profit? Expected uh, value of the profit. Well, it's simple. Remember, there are two events. Event one is when the price is $30. Event two is when the price is $20. So you have to calculate the realized final wealth in these two events and then uh, multiply them with the probabilities, respective probabilities, and sum them up. That's it. Well, what is the profit? If you remember, profit is nothing but uh, revenue minus cost, always. So here the cost is simple, is given by this functional form. What is revenue? Revenue is price times quantity. Um, so price here is either 30 or 20. So, oops, let me just leave it as P, all right? Times quantity minus cost is given by this functional form. 0.5Q squared minus 5Q minus 100, all right? So the only thing that varies here is this P. It's either $20 or $30. So that means the expected value of the profit is equal to uh, 20Q with one half probability plus with one half probability 30Q, so the revenue part, minus 0.5Q squared minus 5Q minus 100. All right, so that's the expected value of the profit. Well, here, be careful. I mean, maybe I, I, I mean, it shouldn't be, but, but it may confuse you. It's like why I am multiplying the, uh, uh, the, the revenues with the probabilities, but not the cost. Well, actually I do, right? I am skipping a sort of one step. What I'm doing is I'm multiplying this. So I put uh, 20 here and then multiply this whole thing with one half plus, I put 30 here and then multiplying this whole thing with one half. And then obviously this part, because it's one half and one half from you know, each part, will sum up to one, the total. And then therefore all it remains is you know, those uh, probabilities multiplied by the revenue only. All right, so um, again, uh, uh, I just skipped one step. So question is what quantity is going to maximize it well i think the rest is pretty obvious is just 
let's call this expected uh, profit, e pi, all right? All you have to do is just uh, take the, uh, solve the first order conditions, meaning uh, take the derivative with respect to quantity, set it equal to zero. If you solve it, what you're gonna get here, you have 10, here you have uh, 15, all right? Qs will go gone away. Here I have uh, one Q, and here I have my uh, minus five, and then a derivative of 100 is zero, so it's equal to zero. So that means I send the Q the other side. So Q equals 10 plus 15, 25 minus 5, 20. As simple as this, all right? And then you can obviously calculate the profit, expected uh, value of the profit by just plugging this Q equals 20 into this expected value of the profit function. Well, what about the, um, maximum uh, sort of the, the utility maximize expected utility maximizing quantity well this time the guy is risk averse the producer is a risk averse so be careful uh, depending on the profit function uh, you may you, you may not have this um, let's call it expected utility of pi so one half squared of 20q plus one half squared of uh, 30q minus the cost function c of q uh, probably this is not what expected utility is going to look like all right so be careful about it you know sometimes uh, skipping steps may be dangerous so if you don't know what you're doing don't skip any steps uh, just go the long way because it's always the safest so remember uh, we always have the following the probability of an event times the utility of that event. So the utility of that event means when the, the profit under uh, the good scenario where the price is $30, so I'm gonna denote it by pi 30, plus probability of the second event and the utility, I mean the utility of the profit, which is pi when the price is 20. So what I have to do, I have to calculate pi 30 and pi 20, which is simple. So here, the pi 30 means the price is 30. So it's 30q uh, minus 0.5q squared minus 5q minus 100. Uh, so if you need, you can simplify it by saying this is going to be 25q minus 0.5q squared minus 100. And so pi 20 is basically, this time, p is going to be 20. So therefore, I'm going to skip this step. So it's uh, 20 minus 5, so 15q minus 0.5q squared minus 100, all right? So if you write the profits, uh, sort of expected utility of the profit, it's basically one half squared of the first component, 25q minus 0.5q squared minus 100, uh, plus one half squared of the second component, 15q minus 0.5q squared minus 100. All right, and then obviously, what is the expected utility maximizing quantity? Once again, you solve the first order conditions, uh, which means you take the derivative of the expected utility function, expected utility of the profit with respect to a quantity, and set it equal to zero and solve for Q. Uh, let's see, I don't know how long it's gonna be, but let's see, so I have one half, times one half times the inside of this square root, which is 25 minus Q times uh, 25 Q minus 0.5 Q square minus 100 to the power minus one half, all right? Okay, plus I have one half, another one half coming from the square root term and then uh, the derivative of the, uh, the uh, inside this uh, parentheses, which is 15 minus Q. And then, you know, the square root, but, you know, to the power minus one half. So that means 15 Q minus 0.5 Q square minus 100 minus one half, set it equal to zero. So the setting equal to zero is going to help me get rid of those one halves. All right. Um, so... Let's see. Um, all right, well, we'll um, 
Okay, I hope we didn't make any mistake. We'll see. So when they're equal to, uh, so when the sum is equal to zero, what I have is, you know, I can send one guy to the other side. So instead of setting this equal to zero, I can just say this guy is equal to this guy. But, you know, don't forget, you have to have some negative term somewhere. All right. So, uh, you know, one half, uh, one over four, one over four, they will cancel out. So I, I need some space. So let's put it here. So on, on the left hand side, I have 25 minus Q divided by this thing, square root of 25 Q minus 0.5 Q square minus 100 equals uh, minus, well, I'm, not, I'm, I'm gonna put minus uh, and, and, and distribute this minus into this parenthesis. So it's gonna be Q minus 15 uh, <clears throat> divided by square root of 15 uh, Q minus 0.5 Q square minus 100. All right. Uh, okay. Well, what I can do, I can uh, clearly take the square of both sides because I really need to get rid of this square root signs. So if I take the square of both sides, it shouldn't change the equality. And so when I do this, well, things are gonna get ugly. Um, and to be honest, I don't know if I should keep going or, well, we'll see. So what is that equal to? So this is uh, 625 minus 50Q uh, plus Q square divided by 25Q minus 0.5Q square minus 100 equals this guy Q square minus 30Q plus uh, 225 divided by 15Q minus 0.5 q square minus 100 okay uh, so all i have to do 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 the cross product obviously and then solve for q i don't know if i will be able to solve it easily or will have some sort of a calculator but things are getting ugly because i have to multiply 625 with 15 to be honest i don't know what that equals to i need a calculator so what i'm going to do i'm going to leave it here i think you can solve the rest it's not so you know easy you have to just deal with uh you know a bunch of numbers but it's just a simple algebra uh, i mean hopefully some you're going to get some q to the power three stuff and q to the power four stuff and hopefully they will cancel each out hopefully and then you're going to have sort of a function uh with a degree four or three i'm not sure and then you have to find the roots of those. If you can't solve it, fine. I mean, some uh, Mathematica or some other, uh, you know, uh, things can solve it easily. But even if you can't solve it, that's fine uh, because that's, that's a, uh, that's, uh, well, that's not a straightforward algebra. But this is how you basically find the utility maximizing quantity. All right.